phone <laughs> drops in. It's like, oh, I know that thing is worth fourteen fifty. Fourteen fifty. No, don't say seventeen hundred. Fourteen fifty one. Fourteen fifty one. Fuck oh, you, son you of a dick, bitch. Gary. <laughs> That Fucking recently theory. happened to me at work. They, we were, they were like, well, what do you think this number is? And I'm like, uh, whatever the percentage. Some guy said like 10%. I'm like, it's more like 40, I bet. <laughs> and the guy right after me, Brady, goes, uh, I'll say 41. I'm like, did you just fucking prices right me, dude? <laughs> <laughs> Without even... <laughs> oh, that's great. That is gold. Oh, shit. Yeah, everybody rolled. Anyways. Yes. All right, let's get started, guys. <laughs> Good morning, afternoon, whatever, everybody. Yeah. Welcome to the Drop Culture Podcast Quick Cast. Quick this cast. is our weekly Quick Cast, quick cast. to where quick we go cast. over everything that's important to us in movies, DVDs, or, uh, TV. Sometimes it's not important to us, but we still say it anyways. But it's fun. It's yeah. Fun. Yeah. It's good times. It's getting to know you. Yeah. My name is Brock. Um, oh, I'm then, Dan. I'm, I'm Dan. Yeah. I'm over here and I'm, I think I'm called Mitchell. Cool. I, <laughs> shut up, Mitch. No, yeah, that is my name. Somebody just yelled it. Cool. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Well, guys, do you have any uh, movie news? Uh, yeah, Oscar Isaac. Isaac. Mm-hmm. Everybody's familiar with Oscar Isaac. Mm-hmm. Oh, damn it! Um, going to produce and star in an Ex Machina adaptation. Really? Yes. Okay, I can see that. So I'm pretty excited yeah. about that. That should be good. So, with that said, would he ever win an Oscar? And then Oscar wins an Oscar. Ooh. Like, Ooh. Would it be awkward if he won a Grammy? or What like if Emmy he won an Oscar as Oscar Isaac, of course, right. playing Oscar the Grouch? Whoa. His role for Oscar, winning the Oscar, <laughs> Oscar. In a movie called Oscar. <laughs> the <Sorry>. Untold Grouch. <laughs> Get out of my trash can. <laughs> Oh my god Get out of here you sons of bitches <laughs> Get out of here Oh my god it's changing like crazy Yeah yeah, yeah we're, he's we're, got a different These voice. trailers are like the Sonics <laughs> Shit They change every 20 minutes yeah. Jim no Carrey doubt. stays the same but Sonic uh, changes It's weird uh, Anything for you sir? I've got um, a couple other things we can talk about Well I do uh, I do want to see um, Color Out of Space I don't think I've seen anything on that Which I just rented it uh, offline Okay, day. so I'm I'm probably gonna watch it today. It's got Nick Cage in it. Of course, it does. Favorites. Yeah, that's why you're watching it. Yep, Elijah Wood, Tommy okay. Chong is what? in it too. Okay, wow. so here's the synopsis: Tommy Chong of Evil Bong. Yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Okay. Cool. When we were talking about that earlier, I was like, "Wait a minute, <laughs> I got something to talk about." Connective there. tissue. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's basically a rural town. A rural juror. The rural rural juror. juror. (laughs) A rural town. What movie are you working on? The rural juror. (laughs) (laughs) It's basically struck by a meteorite, and a family finds themselves battling a mutant extraterrestrial organism infecting their minds and bodies. Oh. So I saw it. Is this by M. Night Shyamalan? No. Okay, cool. No, because I wouldn't watch it, even if it had Yeah, you would. Yeah, you would. Then you'd say, I got bamboozled again. (laughs) But it's Nick Cage. I mean, yeah. I would I would get bamboozled by Nick Cage at any time. That happens about every <laughs> three fourths of his movies. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, you get bamboozled, and you're like, he oh. must be like literally in so much debt. He is. He really <laughs> is. Yeah, like, like him and Wesley Snipes should start a group together. <laughs> You know, like where they like console each other. Oh my God! You just gave me the best idea for a comeback for Wesley Snipes. Okay, it is. It is basically. A remake of the movie Hard to Kill, <laughs> but Nicolas Cage is playing the playing the titular character of Steven Seagal's character. Okay, and then Wesley Snipes is the Jamaican twins. That's from Mark for Death, right? Is it yeah. Mark for Death? Yeah. Oh my God, that would be um, it which right there. I'm hoping so. That may work out because I don't think Seagal wrote Mark for Death. No, no or no. had anything to do with the creation of that, and I don't want to give that bastard any money. I so. don't know. <laughs> but like Nick Cage is the guy going. No, back that's to his perfect, hometown. dude. And then it's Wesley Snipes playing the twins and he goes to jamaica and yeah. he's, oh man shot for shot remake right there done <laughs> billion dollars maybe not a shot for shot remake maybe because you, you could make it better i need to see i need to see nick cage break some fucking elbows and shit well yeah of course <laughs> i mean it's not like it's yeah we, i'm not 
going to get uh, it's a whole <laughs> what we rabbit need trail. To, like, I <laughs> rabbit think hole we get the two birds, one stone with Brock. Make Nick Cage the Anything. star in the Matrix. He, it fixes the problem. It no, balances. It, it balances out. And at the end, he doesn't fly either. away. That's it. That's yeah. all they need yeah. to do is just there get rid go. of that part. And I like that movie. It's actually his ego that flies away. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah. yes. He, he looks there, like though. Superman from the, the failed Superman movie of Nick Cage. Yes. <laughs> yes. In Tim Burton. Not, not even failed. Oh. Not, did not come to fruition. Not even tried. Right. <laughs> This movie does look, I, I, I don't know, I, it looks pretty different. Like I said, I saw it with Terminator Genesis yesterday, and I was like, oh, Nick Cage, yes. Well, you'll have to you'll have to review that for me and mm-hmm. let me know. You're going to watch it tonight? Yep. Cool, I'm off tomorrow, so let me know if it's any yeah, good. Yeah, because um, it's Nick Cage. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> um, Taika Waititi's in talks to do a Star Wars movie. That'd be so cool. Um, pretty much anything I see him touch is pretty awesome. So, right now, yeah. yeah. 100%. Yeah. Nominated for an Oscar. Next month is Oscar month. So, yeah. Jojo Rabbit is not nominated. There's so many. Joker like, got 11 nominations, so it's back in the theaters now. Mm. Is it really? Yeah. They, they do that every time. There's a bunch of Oscar buzz. Yeah, but that's not also, that's not the max, is it? Like, who's gotten more Oscar nominations? Lord of the Rings um, Return of the King. Oh, like ever? Yeah. I have no idea. Lord of the Rings Return of the King is tied with something else for the most Oscar How many nominations. Have? 13. 13, okay. I believe. Yeah. So Jurassic Park But it's the Park most this lot. year. But there was a uh, 1917 got 10 wow. Oscar nominations. Wow. And it didn't even... And yeah, yeah well, we know, we know. Um, we've talked about this on the show. Bamboozled. <laughs> oh, man. Didn't even really start in 2019, <laughs> yeah. you sons of bitches. You saw it, though, didn't you, No, Mitch? I didn't. We oh, okay, were going okay. to, and then we saw it was packed, and we were like, why the fuck is it packed? It was nope. opening night. We were like, it looked like it came out months ago. <laughs> <Yeah>. Right? <laughs> well, they um, did, what was, There was another movie that <laughs> yeah. got uh, 10 nominations, too. Which one? Oh, the... I cons- don't remember. That's why I... Console, <laughs> consolation? No. No, no. It's some movie that I've never seen. Well, it was probably something I didn't care about. No big yeah. deal. But anyways, Oscar 10 Isaac nominations. Starring yeah. as Oscar the Grouch. Yeah, yeah. it was that. That would <laughs> it be was exactly fucking awesome, The Big Bird dude. story. Starring the big Oscar. Bird. <laughs> Oscar a tale. Big Part two bird. can be a tale of two snuffleupaguses. <laughs> <laughs> or the, the snuffleupagai. I don't know. <laughs> but the, the one has a mustache. <laughs> yeah, of course, oh dude. God. He's the bad one. But no, at the end, you mix it up. He's not the bad one. He's the good Mind one. Mind fuck. Flexo. was the... Oh, my God. What was that one? One, uh, go. He's like, uh, the aliens <laughs> drop down from a planet. Uh-huh. Yeah. That'd be awesome, dude. That that will probably be in the third movie. Guaranteed <laughs> that's going to be in the next I, X-Men. Yeah, I swear to God, if I could make a Muppet movie, I would do it. Yeah. Oh, that would be oh, so cool, cool dude. Muppets, man. And that would be it's, such it's a so callback to, oh my God. I, w- I would totally go... A different way though. I just use the Sesame Street people instead of the Muppet people. Interesting. Ooh. And then I do your Muppet movie, and then we'd make a movie where they but came would... together. So it'd be like you're starting like the Sesame Street. You basically the Henson verse. Yes. Yeah. You could do a Henson verse. <laughs> a decade of movies. <laughs> but what would be awesome? Snuffleupagus Island, dude. They had a whole thing where they went there. But I'm gonna give you the ending. <laughs> yeah. But I'm gonna give you the ending. Okay. I At like the him. very end of it, there's there's a guy in a white shirt, white suit, looks like white it came TV? out of straight straight up out of one. Flew Is there over a the midget coo- with him? Nope. It's okay. it's one flew over the coop. Right. So he's he's got his keys and he he looks like Scatman Carruthers, right? Okay. Okay. He walks up to the door. He unlocks a cage. He goes into another one. But every single character that you saw that was actually on Sesame Street and everything like that is all sitting in a wheelchair. Completely drug the fuck out, <laughs> <laughs> and they're in a mental institution. Yes, but yet yes. it's everybody's living this weird nightmare of Muppets the whole time, yeah. and it's like a weird deal. And Scabman's just like, huh? Well, we got this new guy coming in, and it's McCree or <laughs> what's his name from One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest? Oh, right, right. <laughs> <laughs> what was his name? Uh, <laughs> I can't. I've read. I read yeah. that book a long yeah, time ago. I haven't seen the movie in a long time. Yeah. That's a great. <laughs> that's how. You Aww. end it with that right there. Can and it's just like medication me time. How to get how to get to Sesame The whole Street. the whole trailer is that really soft. Yeah. You it's kind of like just the... like three piano notes. Boom. Yeah. <laughs> There's a doll there with like blood splattered and the head just like yeah. on its own. But it's a but it's a Muppet. It's like Kermit, but it's like a <laughs> shitty version of Kermit. 
is blood coming out of its mouth. It's got to be like yeah. his body's it's gotta shake. Just, it's got to be that little the, the nephew that he always talked to. The oh, other frog. God. Yes, that's got to be the frog that I does need that. This. <laughs> but yeah, let's make this. I hey, need this. Hensonville, <laughs> yes. get, get Hensonverse, yeah. get at us. <laughs> Seriously, but but yet the actual the whole mental institute is called Sesame Street in a weird way. Like it, it somehow would fit with it. If you don't know it, to, Sesame Street. Yes. Oh, that would be that. <laughs> yeah, right on. So, this is genius. There's got to be just reference after reference to things like about. There's got to be like a part where they have to go and like. Um, do something at the electric company. Oh my God. You know what I mean? Just yes. like li- different things from but that. It's all mental patients. Yeah. <laughs> What's the Sherlock Holmes Beaker Street number? <laughs> oh, uh, yeah. Something Bleaker 228? Street. Right? 228? Okay. Yeah. Do- oh, not. To- I was. No, that's Dr. Strange. That's Sherlock Holmes. Oh. Yeah, Sherlock Holmes. Is yeah, that what he, you said? He, I yeah, thought yeah. you said Doctor Strange. Well, he Somebody probably said, said Doctor Strange. Strange. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck's going <laughs> no, on. No, no, anymore, no. 228 man. Beaker Street is uh, Sherlock Holmes. I know it's one of those. Is it yeah. Bleecker Street? Bleecker, Beaker, Bleecker, Beaker. Yeah. <laughs> but it would Whatever. be Beaker. Yeah, okay, I'm with you now. Oh my God, see, all of the doctors and everything yeah. could actually be Muppets. Like but yet Beaker those, could be. Those people actually see Muppets while they're there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So like Oscar the Grouch could be like the fucking, he could literally be one of the orderlies or something <laughs> like that. Big Bird is just a really <laughs> tall orderly, you know, and is really happy and nice. And then you got the, they're just all fucking drugged up. Oh, he'd be happy, nice, and timid. Oh, wait. No, that's, that is Big Bird. (laughs) Yes. Yes. Uh, Well, dude, I'm telling you, my favorite, it's 221B. 221B. Baker Street. There we go. Baker Street is. Um, so Beaker, not, yeah. But Dr. Strange is on Bleaker. Mm -hmm. Are we, are you serious? Yeah, yeah. So there you go. (laughs) That was weird. (laughs) Sound effects. Sound effects. I add them when I want and I take Man. them away. So I saw Disney's dropping the Fox name off all their stuff now. All the movies that were ever made by Fox. So we're done just... with Sesame Street? <laughs> oh, I mean, hey, dude, if we want to make this a Sesame Street episode, I'm in 100%. Let's do I'm this. Just kidding. Let's jump into this. I'm, I'm just, with it. No, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> because first of all, Snuffleupagus already acts like he's drugged all the time. He's like, hey, bro. <laughs> It's like the bus driver you know in mean? The Simpsons <laughs> has a character on Sesame Street. Yes, yes. yes. Yeah. So no, I, no, we can move on because we'll do And I want this. that bald black guy. I don't remember his name, and he hopefully he's still alive. That Did was you ever when, hear that story of the bald oh, black brother guy? was a kid. Yeah, I know, right? You know? No, bald, no, no, we'll bald, move on. The black guy had <laughs> Anyways. <you> any? no, <laughs> Anyways, what um, were you saying? Oh, I was going to say that, um, yeah, they dropped the Fox name off oh, of yeah. uh, What are they calling it now? So I think it'll just be 20th Century. Like for those ones that were made by Fox 20th Century that they own now. Oh, that's you know what I mean? I, Dude, I, I honestly, it, I don't give like, a shit. I don't know. That was like, well, great. Why Why do you care? No, you know, great. you own the name. It's already a name. Why wouldn't you just keep it? Yeah. You know? <laughs> yeah. Fuck. You guys, uh, we watched the Morbius trailer. Um, Pretty good. Yeah, obviously the end of it was the coolest part, in my opinion, Michael where you get to see Michael Keaton in like the same outfit he was in at the end of... Uh, Spoiler alert. Yeah, Homecoming. <laughs> so I'm um, not... I don't <laughs> care anymore. So if you, these are trailers. If you yeah, haven't seen these movies, for, fuck off. I know. <laughs> I smell a spoiler. No. It's Michael um, Keaton. Yeah. Michael Keaton's a spoiler in everything Wait, he's in. No, not, that, that's not a spoiler. That's definitely just Michael Keaton. God. <laughs> wow. Dude, you know what's bad when you call it the spoiler. <laughs> yeah. He's like, guys, you might want to clear the room. I, I smell a spoiler brewing. Whoa. Uh, Whoa. <laughs> Like, okay, I'm, I'm going to go. <laughs> Yowza. <laughs> um, yeah. the, the new Black Widow looks, the new trailer looks pretty good. Pretty cool. Yeah. A lot more tax, Taskmaster. Yeah. And, taskmaster? Um, yeah, Taskmaster. Yeah. <laughs> he, he's in tasks where task he has to master. put masks on people. <laughs> well, everybody's kind of been giving feedback on his mask yeah. itself. I don't care about the it mask. It doesn't matter. As no, long like, as you're not going to make it look, cool. it look like a skull like on the car. In the comic book, there's no way. But Taskmaster, as we know, is one of my favorite villains. Yeah. Um. So because he adapts um, to everybody's fighting style, can learn it with just by watching them. If they dig, I hope. I hope there's just a little bit of digging into his story, like how he has to trade his memories for that, though, because that's really cool. That's like a really cool like develop that character into an. Marvel has a hard time sometimes with the villains making them three-dimensional yeah. they do a good job in some movies but in some movies you're like oh, who gives a shit about that yeah, guy so taskmaster is johnny mnemonic 
No, no, you have to give up sort of, a little bit, a little bit, because he basically can learn <laughs> any move. He has something called reflexology.